Well, more news. The Dodge County attorney sends a message to parents about truancy. Yeah, she says rates are higher than ever, so they plan to hold parents accountable. KETV Newswatch 7's Aaron Hagerty also talked with Fremont Public Schools. Aaron. Yeah, Fremont Public Schools says parents get warnings before it gets to a point where the courts would be involved, but at 20 days they pass it along to the county attorney. We believe firmly that the parents, first and foremost, have the basic responsibility of making sure that their children are getting to school. Dodge County Attorney Pam Hopkins says a good foundation of education is important, and getting to school is the first step. To enforce state laws on that, until now they've focused on working with the students. We've had so many truancies and we've had such little success in regard to addressing them. So they'll focus on the parents instead. They'll go to court when their child misses 20 or more days during a school year. They'll discuss options like mediation, diversion, and provide resources. Then after 90 days, if there's significant improvement, the case would be dismissed, and parents would have to pay a court cost of about $50. And that would be the end of it. As long as their child continues to get to school regularly, then we're done, right? Because our, our objective has been accomplished. The attorney's office is part of a truancy task force in Dodge County, and the school district Scott Jensen is a part of it too. It might be transportation, or it might be anxiety, or lots of different things keep kids uh, away from school, and so we want to discuss what those barriers are and try to solve them best we can. He says it's not new that they'll report to the county attorney's office, but how that office handles it will. I think it's a possibility it works. Uh, again, it's kind of their business at that point. Once it moves on from us reporting, uh, our Part, we try to work with the families proactively and try to find solutions before it gets to the county attorney. I think we're all hoping whatever happens that we get kids in school. The county attorney says because high schoolers often have more control over whether or not they end up at school, they'll often be involved in the court process too. She says the office's approach to truancy could change going forward as they see how it goes. Back to you. All right, Aaron, thanks.